my mother's family owned in the 16, 15 and 1600s. And we are now going in the main gate down the drive. First place I'd like to go is to the church first, St. Andrew's Church. My mom's nine times great grandmother Diana Skipwithdale was christened here in 1621. The daughter of Sir Henry Skipwith, the first baronet, and his first wife Amy Kemp, both from old noble families here in England. Take a little walk around the church. We have a lot of public footpaths around here. I was here earlier today and did some video footage of the inside uh, as Diana Skipwith's grandfather. Sir William Skipwith is buried in the family crypt below the high altar, and there's a large monument to him and his second wife, who was not the mother of his children. His first wife was Margaret Cave, who was the niece of Lord Burley, William Cecil, first Lord Burley, who was the Lord High Treasurer of England and uh, Chief Minister of Queen Elizabeth I. And the Skipworth family owned the estate here. They're buried in the church here. This is in near the village of, of actually the town of Loughborough in Leicestershire, England, and the village of Burton on, in the Wolds. Uh, uh, Burton on the Wolds is just right around the end of the property here, where I am staying in a and b within walking distance of the hole over here. This church goes back into the Middle Ages. And the cemeteries are purposely allowed to grow like this so that there is a, what they call a natural look, or a kind of wildness. And I'm going out onto the property here. So we can see the house, which is next door to the church through the trees. So our family, the Skipwits, had this property until they lost it due to financial problems. 1653 roughly. The Pack family are the current owners. Bought it from my mother's family. And they are still in residence today, 350 years plus later. to kind of give you an idea of the family pedigree and who they were. Diana Skipwith's 
grandfather, Sir William Skipwith, who is buried at the church we just saw, was the son of Henry Skipwith, who was from the descended from the Dimmock family in Lincolnshire, who were King's champions, hereditary office since the Middle Ages, since probably the time of William the Conqueror, possibly. And were descended from King Edward I by his second marriage to Margaret of France. And then Sir William Skipwith's mother, Jane Hall, was married to the first lord of this manor here at Preswold, Francis Neal. Her, her name was Jane Hall. And she was descended from the Wingfield family of Suffolk who were also descendants of Edward I by his first wife, Eleanor of Castile. So, the Skipwiths and the Halls and their Wingfield Associate Association are very old English families. Many of today's aristocracy are descended from his families, including the Queen, Princess Diana. And I think we might be able to walk along here. So the history of my connection to this is that Sir William Skipwith's eldest son, Sir Henry Skipwith, inherited in 1610, married Amy Kemp, also from another noble family in Kent, and had a family, I don't know how many children in all, but the two youngest were Diana and Gray. Diana was my mother's ninth great-grandmother who was christened at the church, 1621. And Sir Henry lost the estate due to financial problems. And previous to his death, about 1655, he sent Diana and Gray to Virginia to make a better life for themselves because they had no future in England with no money, no property, and no marriageability. So they went and produced families. And here I am today because of that. So here we have the estate, the house, Crestwold Hall. And I was here earlier today. I got to take a tour inside. This house is actually not the original that my family lived in when they were here. This was built by the Pax after they bought the property about 1685. The house here, the earlier house, was probably one of the homes that Diana Skipwith grew up in. And then the family also lived at Coates three miles from here, which was the big grand house, much larger than this, this one. So, as you can see, it's just very, very, very beautiful scenery here. And the sheep are going crazy wondering what I'm doing out here. So this is Prestwald Hall. Prestwald Hall in Leicestershire, England. <laughs> 